everyone today we are going to look into a new package called geolocator package in flutter as per as the name suggests it's basically has to deal with geolocations right in our application it has many features it can get the last known location get the current location of the device get continuous location updates check if the location services are enabled on the device or not calculate the distance between two geo coordinates calculate the bearing between two, two geo coordinates right in today's tutorial, I'm just going to cover between get the current location of the device and also check the location services are enabled or not. Right. So these are the two features that I'm going to use, but it's a very cool package to play around with it. So let's get started. I think as the version suggests, let me go ahead and add that dependency. So geolocator, the version number was 8.2.0. Okay that's there let me do the pub get so it will get the dependencies in the meantime let's go over the setup so i am using ios simulator so i'm going to add the following key and the strings to my info.plist file right um let me pull that up okay so it's here so now once that it's here we can actually get started with our coding part right now i am gonna remove all this junk so i'm thinking of a simple application where you press a button and it provides you with the location of my current device right so i will keep this floating action button as it is uh, let me see till where okay so till the app bar, title body center column oops sorry uh, yeah i think i can remove everything till here okay yes so i am gonna keep that title text let me remove it and let's say geo geolocation app right and in the body i am going to display my text so before getting the text of uh, that will be our location uh, i would need some functions right so i will take a kind of you can say a global variable so this will be my position which will store the position once i fetch it let me import the repository okay now let me create a method for this i will do avoid get current location async position position await now there is one catch here so instead of directly getting the position um, using the api here um, as the doc says we can actually use this let's try and use this if we can use this and once that is done we can do a set state between position is equal to position and let me display the text here child underscore position is not null then print the text as current location position dot to string right else we give the text as no location data cool uh, on pressed I think I can remove this or wait I would need on press to call get current location right so it will call this method okay sounds good i don't see any error let's run that app <clears throat> it's taking some time so i guess till now the flow was very clear that we have a button it will be like a plus sign when we click on it it's gonna call this method and this method oops i should have that and this method will basically fetch the geolocator dot current position and then it will set this value 
the position and that I can use here, right? Because it's a class variable. Now, once that is done, we can see that in action. I think the first time when you try to run the app, it takes a little bit of time because it's compiling, linking and signing it. Um, the build is done. The app should run any moment. Okay, cool. So the app is running. So right now this code has executed that currently the position is equal to null, right? So we don't have the current location and that's why no location data. Let me press the plus sign. Okay. So we got an error and the error says, if you clearly can see this error here, the error says user denied permission to access the device location. So that is because you must have used many apps, right? Like social network app, like Twitter, Instagram, where first time when you open the app, it asks you with a pop-up saying, do you want this app to track your location? Allow or don't allow, right? So this is what is needed from our code perspective. Also, we need to provide a way for the user to either select whether he or she wants to give their location or not. So for that, let me create another method and I'll go over it. What this is about domain position async. So it's going to be an async function and we are going to use location permission. Permission. Okay. Now I'm basically going to wait geolocator dot check permission so there is this method which basically checks whether user has provided this app permissions to you know gather its location or not so if permission equals equal location permission dot denied so denied means that currently it's not set so we can say that await i can actually create a pop-up so my pop-up will be like request permissions and this method will automatically show me that permissions for the location sharing pop-up and if it still shows like if uh, location permission run so if the user still denies then maybe let me show the error saying location permit right um similarly uh after this i can just do return await and then i can do geo locator dot get current position so this will return me the current position and i can just do await of determine position right i think that should work let's run our app again So this time I'm hoping that when I press on the plus button, it's gonna show me a screen with permissions and then I can select one of them. So if I allow, then it should allow me to fetch the permission and we should be seeing the position right there. Okay, so the app is running. Let's see if I press on plus. As you can see, we saw a pop-up saying, do you want to allow once, allow while using app, don't allow, so I'll use, allow while using app. And there you can see the latitude and longitude. That is my device location, right? Um, so yeah, that's all for this tutorial. You can do a lot of stuff with this package, as I said. Stay tuned for more updates like this. As I said, every day I will try to cover one or the other features or widgets for Flutter. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Thanks everyone.